So our next step is to create the alpha map texture for this cube. I'm going to use a fade rectangle to do it. Again, I will lock it to the screen and then size it down a bit. In the editor, I will uh, change the color blend value and then blending range on the X and Y. 30, you can play with the numbers here to see the value you would like. I will leave it on 100. And then uh, all I have to do is to create a snapshot with a key on the element. So snapshot, I want it K1 and RGBA. Okay, if the element is placed already, I can create another texture from it with a higher blending range. We'll call it K2. And I have the two texture. I don't need the, the fade rectangle anymore, so I can trash it. And now I'm going to group the cube, fix a little bit the rotation, duplicate it. Can rotate the whole group. One click in the editor of the cube up, so it will create like an envelope. External one, I will put my texture on top and to see better the result of the mapping I can close the first one change it to vertex and now if I will rotate the whole group I can see my mapping is correct that's okay so I will open the first cube and the only thing I need to do now is to place expert on the one with the texture, go to render mode, place on additive, back face is on, and if I rotate the whole group, I have a first element with inner glow.